Hello, thank you for joining me for my fourth blog. Uh, I'm a professional pianist. My name's Richard Merrick and my CMC joints in both my uh, thumbs uh, are completely worn out. And on the 10th of May this year, 2019, I had the first of two operations. This one to my right hand, I had a full trapeziectomy with a slight difference, which I will go into in a second. Um, and this is presently day 23, it's Sunday the 2nd of June. Um, and I have been pain free for at least one week. That's the kind of information which I wish I could have got on YouTube. Perhaps if I'd looked harder, I would have found it. But this is specifically for musicians who will undoubtedly share the same problem. Uh, and I hope this helps because it would have helped me to find this kind of uh, series really charting someone's recovery. So I had a couple of weeks. The first week was pretty rough. Uh, second week got easier. And as I say, since about day 15, 16, virtually no pain. Um, I have on on the, uh, just get this right, on this day 12, I went to have my stitches out. Um, both my surgeon and my hand therapist were in attendance on that. Stitches came out, the wound was still slightly open, um, and so it was stereo stripped. It still is, even having seen my hand therapist again last Wednesday, which would have been uh, something like day 19. Um, it, and I really hope that this morning I could show you the, the actual wound, but I can't because it's still very slightly open. And so it's holding me up in that I can't rub the cream into it and loosen the, the scar, which I need to start doing fairly soon. Um, but it's just a minor bit of healing on the front. I'm absolutely pain free. Um, I'm not allowed to move my thumb apart from that. And I have to have my hand in this cast, in, well, not a cast, it's um, in, in this brace, which was made to fit my arm and hand specifically for eight weeks. That's 24 hours a day, except when I'm exercising. I did keep my hand up. I've got virtually no swelling in my hand at all. The wound looks great. It's just very, very slightly open, which is, as I say, frustrating me, uh, but I'll put up with that. I've been given certain exercises to do, and for that, I take this off. And apparently this is because of my uh, particular procedure, which is a little different. And I'll explain that again in more detail than I have before. Uh, I'm a little bit further ahead than and you would be with a normal trapeziectomy. But all I'm allowed to do is I have to keep my thumb relaxed. I have to do this movement five times. And then I have to touch this, everything nice and slow, five times, and then five times to my middle finger. And then on a flat surface like that, I have to then bring my thumb out and back and out and back. This is on a flat table. And then as if I'm holding a glass, come out and back out and back and that's five times three times a day so i go through those exercises three times a day and i'm not allowed to do any more at all and i feel i could and i daren't do it because if you go your own way and something does go wrong then you're asking for trouble so i'm going to be a very good patient and simply do that and no more now, I did say that I would clarify uh, what was slightly different about my procedure. Um, and so I'm simply going to read uh, a report of the surgery. So if you're squeamish or you're not interested, just switch the blog off at this point. But this is what actually took place. Under general anaesthetic, he underwent a right thumb trapeziectomy and interposition arthroplasty. The operation proceeded without complication. A tourniquet was applied for one hour and 15 minutes at 250 mmHg. An FCR-based approach was used and the thena margin was reflected. A capsulotomy was carried out and the trapezium was excised piecemeal. Half of FCR which was harvested as a tendon donor and left attached to the distal margin. The base of the thumb metacarpal was mobilized and reamed to take a size one Swanson trapezial spacer. A three millimeter drill hole was made in the dorsal central metacarpal about one centimeter from the joint surface. The FCR tendon donor was passed through the base of the metacarpal and out through the drill hole. Uh, 
It was then looped back to itself as a sling and suited to the periosteum at the margin of the drill hole. The thumb was held in a satisfactory position as a result of the tendon sling. The size 1 Swanson spacer was then inserted and this was stabilised further by closure of the capsule and suture to the, uh, of the FCR tendon over the top. The FCR tendon was looped around itself and sutured back to itself at the base of the thumb. And then uh, the rest of the report is just the kind of stitching they used uh, inside and to close the wound. So I hope that helps. Uh, I just can't wait to be playing the piano again, uh, but it's going to be a little while before I can do that. I will report back to you as promised in a couple of weeks. Thanks.